Properties of Modular Arithmetic These properties are somewhat comparable with the properties of a real number or properties of addition and subtraction and multiplication in the set of real numbers. Reflexivity for any integer a a is congruent to a mod n. Why is this so? Again, using our definition of congruence, a is congruent to b mod n. If and only if, okay, if and only if a minus b divided by n is an integer. Okay, q is an integer. And that is so with a. a minus a divided by n is equal to 0 and 0 is an integer. Symmetry. If a and b are integers, then a is congruent to b mod n, modulo n, if and only if b is congruent to a modulo n. So, for example, 26 is congruent to 4 mod 11. Let us verify that. 26 minus 4 divided by 11 is equal to so yes, this congruence is true. How about 4? Is 4 congruent to 26 modulo 11? Let us verify that. Using our definition of congruence, 4 minus 26 divided by 11, it's equal to negative 2, and negative 2 is also an integer. So yes, this is true. Transitivity. If a, b, and c are integers, then if a is congruent to b modulo n and b is congruent to c modulo n, then a is congruent to c modulo n. So this is somewhat comparable to the property of transitivity for equality. If a, if a is equal to b and b is equal to c, then, then a is equal to c. Somewhat comparable with this statement. 27 is congruent to 7 modulo 10. Let us verify that. Yes, this congruence is true. 7 is congruent to negative 3 modulo 10. Yes, this again is true. Therefore, 27 is congruent to... 27 is congruent to negative 3 modulo 10. Let us verify that. So as you can see here, in verifying the congruence under modulo n, what I do is I am using the definition of congruence modulo n. 27 minus negative 3 is 30. 30 divided by 10 is 3. So this is true. Additivity. For integers a, b, c, and d, if a is congruent to b modulo n and c is congruent to d modulo n, then... So again, this is somewhat comparable with the addition property of equality. If a is equal to b and c is equal to d, then a plus c is equal to b plus d, okay? Somewhat comparable with this uh, property of equality. So let us uh, show some examples and verify these examples. 6 is congruent to 3 mod 3. Yes, because 6 minus 3 divided by 3, this is equal to 1. 12 is congruent to negative 3 mod 3. Is that true? Well, 12 minus negative 3 divided by 3. This is 15 divided by 3. It's equal to 5. The division exact, that congruence is true. So we will add this to these two terms. 6 plus 12 is 18, and 3 plus negative 3 is 0. Is it true that 18 is congruent to 0 mod 3? 
Let's check it out. 18 minus 0 is 18. Divided by 3 is 6. The result is an integer. The division is exact. So this is true. 18 is congruent to 0 mod modulo 3. How about multiplicitivity? So this is somewhat comparable to the multiplication property of equality. For integers a, b, c, and d, if a is congruent to b modulo n and c is congruent to d modulo n, then a times c is congruent to b times d modulo n. Let us uh, show some examples and verify these examples. So we already know this. 6 is congruent to 3 modulo 3. We also verify this. 12 is congruent to negative 3 modulo 3. So we will obtain the product of the terms, of the respective terms. 6 times 12 is 72. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Is this congruence true? is 72 congruent to negative 9 modulo 3. So again, using our definition of congruence modulo n, this is what we do. 72 minus negative 9 divided by 3. This one is equal to 81 divided by 3 and this is equal to 27. Okay? So yes, 72 is congruent to negative 9 modulo 3.